Hello everyone, I am Shamant Gowda, CSAT faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you once again for the question of the day series guys. This was asked as a bouncer in the last video. Okay, this I am going to explain using the, you guys are familiar now, common factor technique. Okay, now common factor, to apply the common factor, it has to be in the form of A power n plus B power n or else A power n minus B power n. Here, look here, 3 power 41 plus 7 power 82. Anyway, if I call A as 3, 7 is B, here it is 41, but here it is 82, okay. The N has to be same. If it is 41, here also it has to be 41. So, what I will do is 3 power 41 plus, can I write in this way, 7 square to the power of 41, okay. See, always A power X whole power Y is equal to A power X Y, okay. X and Y will get multiply. See, 41 into 2 is 82. Now, is it in the form of 3 power 41 plus 49 to the power of 41, where n is equal to odd. Remember the rules, see, a power n plus b power n is divisible by a plus b when n is odd. Is the n odd? Yes. If n is odd, it has to be divisible by 3 plus 49. What is 3 plus 49? 52. Any number which is divisible by 52 is always divisible by what? 26. 26 divides 52 means 26 has to divide this number also. So, the answer is 26. And guys, this is today's question. The question says, length of a rectangular field is increased by 20 percent. Then, by what percent its breadth should be decreased so that the area remains same, okay. This is a very common question in most of the exam. Similar concept question you can be asked in many ways. Look here now, this is a rectangle, this is the length, this is the breadth, okay. Area becomes length into breadth. Now, the length is increased by 20 percent, okay. Length of the rectangular field is increased by 20 percent. For example, if I consider the length original as 100, if it is 100, now it becomes how much 20 percent more means 120, okay. Rather than taking these big numbers 100 and 120, I will make the ratio. This is in the ratio what? 5 is to 6. See, 100 becomes 120 means 20 into 5, 20 into 6 I can take. See, look here now. That's what I am writing. Length becomes 5 to 6. Originally, length was 5. Currently, present, the length becomes 6. So, length increases. Length increases by 20 percent. For example, see, if I increase the length, this is what the length. After increasing the length, breadth should be decreased so that the area remains same. Okay, area should not alter means rather than the breadth here, I have to make the breadth here so that whatever the original area which has to remain same. Since I have increased the length by this much, breadth has to be decreased by this much, okay, so that area remains same. Look here now, length into breadth is equal to area, okay. If the length originally 5, now it becomes 6. If this becomes 5 to 6, then the breadth has to change from what value to what value so that when I multiply these two values and multiply these two values, I, has, I have to get the same number here, here as well as here. If this is 5 and this is 6, this has to be 6, this has to be 5. This is the only mathematical possibility. If the length becomes 5 to 6, then the breadth has to change from 6 to 5. Then only the area whatever you are getting here remains same. See, breadth originally it was 6. Now it has become 5 means there is a decrease of 1, okay. Breadth is decreased by 1. From where it has been decreasing? From 6, see. For 6 if it is 1, for 100 how much? This is what percent? This is fraction. When you multiply by 100, it becomes percent. The meaning of this calculation is for 6 if it is 1 decreased, for 100 how much? If you cross multiply, you will get the same thing, which is nothing but 16 2 by 3 percent. Okay, 16, 2 by 3 percent is nothing but what? 16.66, 2 third is 0. 0.66. Okay, this is the answer for this question. And guys, this is today's bouncer. Okay, very similar question I am giving, very, very similar question. Okay, you must have the conceptual knowledge. I can ask the question in a different way. Try to solve this question and put the answer in the comment section. Thank you. We will see you in the next video.